There we go, it's August 22nd. Day after my birthday. Day after David's birthday plus one. B day plus one. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it's uh now we're sitting out here this morning fixed to get ready to start working on the cabin, but uh I did that uh that clip on spreading corn. Spreading it down with rocks. Because it's uh see we got cow shit out here, they got cows, but it's deer all still get after it. actually set up your shots with how you're spreading corn. Usually everybody just kind of piles it out and that's pretty good. I mean, because you can sit there. If you sit there and you put it out like so. Beyond that, I mean, you got a pretty good, pretty good area covered. And uh, the type of shot this actually would give you is it uh, gives you time to uh, pick out your hog gonna be shooting that hog even the deer but uh yeah usually i mean even if you got cows on the place you want to try to keep it as uh, thin as possible on uh on the ground to keep the cows from eating it because they got a more bigger problem to uh take it up but um no we just uh spread it out like this you can pick out your hogs but say if you want to get two in one you do a uh that's how you get a two-in-one shot right here. That's how uh, you just sit there and take the corn. Show you. If you go in a line, just like that, say the camera that y'all are on, uh, y'all would be in the stand right now and you're looking, and as the hogs are coming in, they'll come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. They'll sit there and they'll, they'll all be lined up. So when you take that first head shot, you sit there, and uh, they actually pass through. Like if you're using uh, 270, 308, things like that, bigger. Uh, I don't know, it, it, uh, hey. 23 might be able to do it. If you, uh, yeah. I don't know if a uh, soft tip will, will go through two holes. But no, you go through, uh, you get those two shots right there. Two kills, uh, two kills on one shot. That's mm -hmm. if you go right in the line, just the way this is. And uh, again, if you're going for time, yeah. Just uh, spread it out like this, and this is uh, more for giving yourself, uh, picking your shot. But there you go. You got. You can go for two for one, or you can pick out the biggest one you want. Or this also gives you time to uh, find out if you uh, say if there's a bunch of little little piglets running around. You get the uh, take out the sow, the mama sow on it, and they they won't run off. They'll sit there. Usually, if they're still small enough, they'll hang around in the area so you can pick them off too. And uh, here we go, that's hey, Bohemian Hunt Club. Spreading right. corn, lining up your shots. I didn't realize that I really couldn't see much of it. That's what I was talking about. If you put it in a line like that, that's uh, will line up your two for one, most likely. Or your, your better chance of getting two for one, or even three for one, you get a, you're using a, a cannon to take them down. And then here you go, if, you, if you're spreading it out like that, that'd be the uh, the type to do. I mean, every, this is usually what everybody does. Is uh, but this will sit there and give you more time. You, you actually, the more spread, the more thin you spread it out, it's uh, the longer they're going to be in the area. That's uh, gives you the more time to to take your shot and pick out which one you want. Like that. Um, again, here you go, Bohemian Hunting Club, spreading corn.